What is up YouTube? This is Trevor from Truler Survival and Reviews, back with another video. Uh, some of you might know what this knife is. Uh, it's a pretty, I'd say, budget knife on the market currently. Um, you can find it anywhere from $12 to $18. This is the K-Bar Folding Hunter. Um, it's a pretty classic design. Uh, just simple lock back. Uh, might remind you of your dad or grandpa's buck knife that he has hunting. Uh, simple Bowie style knife. Uh, this knife is made in China. It's not a USA made K-Bar. Um, this is an 8.8 .8 overall inch long knife. Uh, the blade itself is only 3.8 inches but that's enough cutting edge to get I'd say most tasks done within measure. Um, probably unlike your grandpa and or dad's knife, this features a pocket clip. Uh, most other knives of this style come with a pouch or you're just supposed to slip it in your pocket. Uh, the handles are made of G10. Uh, the steel on the blade is Fortani stainless steel, which is a pretty cheap steel. Uh, doesn't hold an edge that long, you kind of have to keep up with it, maintaining it. So if you have the means to do that and can do that, it is fairly capable. Uh, online it said it is hollow ground, but it just seems, it doesn't seem hollow ground to me. It just seems like a fairly simple flat grind. It's too small to even notice a hollow grind on it. Uh, so if you just did it at home by yourself it would probably just turn into a flat grind which isn't bad it's probably stronger since it's only 420 um i've been carrying this in pocket for probably two weeks now just doing simple tests with it uh this is one of my first lockbacks that i've uh, carried i have other lockbacks but they're like collector knives and i don't really carry them in my pocket um the centering is very good. Uh, that was like that out of box and hasn't changed. Lockup is pretty strong, a little front to back, but no side to side. Um, the lineup on the uh, lock back is pretty good. Uh, it does push down quite a bit, which I guess is just for leeway in case it gets smashed in your pocket or something I don't know just so it's not so rigid uh, but overall I like the knife um, I don't know if I'd like it more if the blade itself was like plain satin instead of this gray but I think it looks good with the simple two color tones uh, I kinda wish they did make a model with the satin so I could decide if I like it more with satin or this gray uh, but I don't think I'm going to take this coating off just because it seems like a pain in the butt. Uh, one thing I don't like about this knife is um, the jimping. I wish it was a little farther back because I don't like extending my thumb all the way this far forward. I think I'd prefer it if it was back here. And you just get the start of it right here. Uh, but otherwise it does have a thumb studs unlike most of the buck knives and it has the finger groove like most pocket knives of this style have uh, anyway it does have reversible pocket clips which I will have to do because I'm left handed and otherwise I don't have any much more to say about this knife it does the job it's fairly cheap uh, if it breaks you just get a new one if you want because it's only on Amazon I think I got it on sale for 16 but I've seen it on other places like Smoky Mountain Knife Works for around 10 or 12 um, so it's fairly common a uh, good beater knife if you need one but it's still kinda classy in my opinion to carry around in a knife suit or something um, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my information on the K-Bar Folding Hunter Knife. Um, I will have more videos of a different style coming out soon. 
I have some flashlight reviews and some fire sparker reviews coming. Um, so I hope you stay tuned and subscribe for those coming later. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.